Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Cashflow Digest. I am not Matt Faircloth here, guest hosting again today from one of our properties. We are here live from Townhomes at Little Creek. Happy, happy, happy to be here on this beautiful day in Winston-Salem, North Carolina and coming to you live from one of our properties. I am Justin Fraser here with the Rosa Group. Happy to share with you guys today, be with you here. We, of course, are going to share some recent recent news stories, recent news article. And so the article that we have pulled to share with you guys today is about the recent housing market. And so let me go ahead and share that information now the article that we're sharing is that homes are selling for below list price that is bad for sellers good for buyers this is data that is coming out that is really for may and june it's talking about how the typical home has sold for below below the listing price 0.3 percent less which honestly not a huge number but i think that what this is saying is that really May and June is typical peak selling season. And so this time of year, the average home sells for list price or above list price, especially the last few years. This year it has not. So what that that is indicating is that we are starting to shift to a buyer's market um, is, is what they're saying here. And so these are the first indicators here that we're shifting over to a buyer's market they're saying that only less than a third of homes are selling for over list price. Um, and that is uh, really dropping, 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 dropping. And that is the lowest since late spring of 2020. Good news for buyers, not such good news for sellers. Buyers are getting the power. So I think that's interesting. You know, prices are up though. Mortgage rates are up. I think it'll, well, we're going to have to see what happens here as mortgage rates potentially start to come down. But if we get into a buyer's market and rates come down, we'll have to see what happens. But they're saying, look, the market's loosening. Listings are up 8.2% and houses are sitting on the market. So we'll have to see. See here, 62% of listings on the market for at least 30 days. Wow. Compared with 50% from two years earlier. So... Obviously, we're not in the market that we were in the pandemic, but things are definitely shifting a little bit here. Home sellers may be setting their prices too high. Look, we knew, we've known that. We've been talking about that in multifamily for a long time, about apartment owners setting their prices too high. We think that um, there has been a shift. There has to be a shift, um, but that is, that is happening. It seems like that is coming back into the, the single family home market as well. Prices are coming down, more affordable homes coming on the market. That's great. I think people are kind of adjusting to the market and now housing inventory is is adjusting as well. So what do you guys think about that? I'm curious what you guys think about that. Thank you, Nabiku, for sharing that article. What do you guys think about that article? Are you guys seeing? I'm curious how that that translates across for our audience base. How does that translate for um for our base, how does that translate across our different markets or across our different um, markets that you guys are in? I know in certain areas, we're not seeing that. You know, where I live in the county that I live in, Research Triangle in North Carolina, we're not really seeing too much. Volume is lower, but prices are not dropping. Prices are continuing to rise. I know that there are some markets that you're just not, you know, yeah, less transactions happening, but you're not seeing that that decrease in prices. Um, I am curious what will happen when rates start to drop. Who's got a crystal ball? Who knows? My guess is when rates start to drop, anyone that's been waiting, holding out, trying to sell will will pop their 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 property on the market. So I think inventory will will pick up. But I think that there's going to be an equal amount of people that have been waiting to buy. And so I think that, that the demand, the supply will equal the demand. And so I actually think that that coupled with the lower rates will probably drive prices up, even though rates are, which are going to come down. And so I think that we're going to start to see a, another shift up in prices. So, but we'll see. My crystal ball is just as good as anyone else's, I guess. So who knows what'll happen with supply and demand. 
but it is interesting to see what's been happening. So with that, always want to keep keep pace with with what's been happening. You know, for us, how does that apply to markets for multifamily? Well, the reason I'm actually out here in Winston-Salem today, we're in some properties. And it's interesting to see where sellers are pricing versus a couple of years ago even. And I'll be honest, we're looking at a property priced kind of comparable to where we bought a property a couple of years ago, as far as a price per door basis. And so it's it's pretty interesting to see that a couple of years ago, prices, price per door was one, one number, then kind of COVID hit and prices kind of skyrocketed. And now prices per door is going to come back down to um, the same kind of level. It's kind of interesting how we've seen that and the sellers have kind of readjusted their expectations. And so we've seen that for a while, they had not adjusted their expectations. This one looks interesting. We'll see if that, if that makes sense, but who knows, we'll see what happens. For us, we will we will adjust and we'll we'll look at everything that comes our way and and make the best offer we can, and that's that's what I want to implore all of you to do. Whether you're looking at a single family home or a multifamily property, is run your numbers and make an offer that works for you. And you know we did we went for a long time without making off. Of, we made plenty of offers, but we went for a long time without closing on a deal. And the reason we did not close on a deal is because we stuck to our numbers. And if the deal did not make sense because of the market conditions, well, we didn't, you know, we did not exceed the offer price that we felt comfortable with. We did not chase prices up and that meant we didn't close deals for a while and that's okay. You can't chase prices up. You can't make a deal work out of, out of nothing. You can't assume the best. You can't assume things are going to just go your way. You're going to get the rent growth that isn't there. You have to stick to your market fundamentals. So check data sources, check, be, be in tune with articles like this, be in tune with data sources, reports like reports from Marcus and Millichap and CBRE and understand the data coming out of COSTAR and, and, you know, rental rent reports and all the data available to you. Make sure you're checking all of those, those data sources because we use real data to make our decisions and, and our underwriting decisions because we have to do that. And we cannot wish and hope and cross our fingers and hope that things will get better and hope that, you know, a deal is going to work. We try to make the best decision we can with the information available. And so, yeah, prices, prices go up. We make the best offer we can. So sometimes your offer will not match what the seller wants. And you've got to wait for those prices to come back down. Seems like maybe those prices are starting to come back down. So be ready, be prepared, have your ducks in a row, have your business be ready, have the capital lined up. Be ready to make an offer because when those prices come down, you want to be ready. You want to be ready to make an offer. So that's my message to you. Be ready. Keep touring properties. We've never stopped. We keep touring properties. We're ready to go. Our pencils are sharp. Our contractor relationships are solid. As soon as we, as soon as our numbers match up, we're gonna we're gonna be ready to to keep keep that deal ready to go.